Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 6th of 2024 is titled Storm Cloud Over Texas. So what do we see here? Well, we see just what it says. This is a storm cloud taken over Texas, and we can see the distinct structure and patterns that form within this cloud. And as you can watch the storm there off in the distance, you can kind of get an idea of how the storm cloud forms. Notice how flat the bottom of that cloud is. Now that's typical for a lot of storm clouds because of the way the temperature drops as it comes up and gives a very distinct start to the cloud, rather than the fluffiness that we see going up in other directions. Now we also see the different struct the different structures as we go farther up in the middle sections by because of the air that is being blown upward by the fronts that are coming in and meeting here. So as that occurs then we'll get very nice structures to the clouds. Now the coloring has nothing to do with the clouds themselves. The coloring is simply due to the sun. Now why is part of it a reddish orange while part of it is a yellow? Well that's because these are at vastly different heights. The lower part that looks red is very down very low closer to the ground and therefore it sees the sun as setting. So the sun is very low in the sky and we know when we see the sun low in the sky it appears reddish orange. That's because the atmosphere will scatter out the blue light the shorter wavelengths and therefore will make the sun setting appear a red color. So this is reflecting the light of the setting sun off there. Now up higher the sun is appears higher in the sky. So the higher you get up you can see around the curvature of Earth and therefore you can see higher in the sky. So from an observer in the upper portions of this cloud much higher in the atmosphere you would then see around the Earth's curvature and would see the sun higher in the sky. So it's not quite as set and it's not appearing quite as red orange yet. Although there is still some scattering of light it gives it a distinct yellow color rather than the red that we see below. So really the coloring of the clouds has to do more with the sun than with the clouds themselves. Now of course clouds exist on other planets in our solar system as well and in fact any other planet with an atmosphere any significant atmosphere will have clouds. In fact the earth is one of the planet with the fewest clouds because the other objects tend to be shrouded in clouds things like Venus which is completely shrouded in clouds all the time. The outer planets which have clouds are again completely shrouded in clouds. They have completely cloudy atmospheres meaning that you could never see down below a certain level. So the surface of Venus for example is not visible from Earth. It's not even visible from orbit around Venus unless you're using radar something that could penetrate through the clouds to be able to see it. Whereas on Earth when we look at images of Earth from space we can see different parts of the ground depending on where the cloud cover happens to be at the time. So that was our picture of the day for August 6th of 2024. It was titled Storm Cloud Over Texas. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Galaxy 3. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.